Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and NBs, and thank you for tuning back into St. Andrew TV, a cure for your Monday blues. I, of course, am Andrew, your host, and today we're doing another episode in our mini-series, Old West Holster Positions. The one we are going to be looking at today is the Strong Side Holster Position. That is what I'm wearing right now, and after this intro, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it. No one on the corner has a swagger like us. Hit me on my barn a prepaid wireless. We pack and deliver like UPS trucks. Already gonna hell just pumping that gas. All I wanna do is and uh sing and I take your money. All I wanna do is and uh sing and I take your money. Now this is the strong side holster position. I'm right-handed, so that means my holster is gonna be placed on my hip on my right side. If you were left-handed, you'd obviously have a left-handed belt and your pistol would be over here with the butt of the pistol facing behind you. The idea is to raise your arm up, grab your pistol and draw like so. Now, the strong side holster position is the most effective way of getting your pistol from holster position to firing position because there's not a lot of movement involved. And it's sort of like the cavalry position, except you don't have to turn your arm over to draw that pistol. A lot of you probably have Buscadero rigs, which is a piece of the holster coming up through a slit in the belt, and your holster hangs about, yeah. A little above your knee so to speak and it, you tie it around your leg and it gives you more natural pulling ability because the pistol is more near your hand and wrist now like i said this is the most effective way to get on target as quickly from holster as possible because you do have to bring your hand up a little bit and i have long arms so this is a little more difficult for me but when you pull you're already on target and the only thing that might be off is the elevation but sideways you should be good because as long as your hips are pointed towards your target and in line with your target all you have to do is draw and fire and you are good to go i should state that not everybody on the frontier was a gunfighter, was not very skilled with a firearm, so to speak. Now, as much as this was an advantageous position to have your holster in, in case the moment presented itself, not everybody thought that way. Remember, this was a time of westward expansion as well. So if you were moving out west, you were probably gonna look for comfort more so than anything. And that goes with frontiers and like, uh, rangers that patrolled the area. You were on horseback a lot. That's why I always talk about the cross draw. The cross draw was probably their desired way of carrying their firearm, and most of the pictures you see are different variations of how they could get away with it sitting in the saddle. And it also goes back to the Buscadero rig. The high on your hip, if somebody were to carry this on horseback, was good because if you go into a sitting position, the gun stays in place. However, if it was placed lower on your leg and it was tied to your leg, that pistol would go like that and you were more likely to maybe lose it on horseback. So this is the strong side holster position. That's really all I got for it. There was not a lot to unpack with this one. The cavalry draw and the cross draw were a lot more niche and probably more popular in terms of benefits in certain positions, but this was more of like you know, your traditional gunfighter stance and, you know, you have the pistol sitting on your hip. So with that being said, I think that's the end of the video. I appreciate everybody for coming along for the third installment of Old West Holster Position. Another carry style for our Wild West brethren. And I appreciate everybody for subscribing as of late. And feel free to leave a like or a comment because I appreciate both of those things. But if you come across this video, and you've yet to hit that subscribe button, think about doing so, because you're a daisy if you do.